Hello everybody, this is Marco and today I'll just show you briefly the device that you will be receiving soon. Since this is the first time that we have all the production parts basically approved or done or very close to done with exception of a few plastic parts, still the device looks as it will at the end when you receive it. Um, in your hands. So I just thought maybe I give you a very short overview to make your weight easier. So this is the pouch. It has a logo printed. It has this loop so you can hook it on whatever you want. It has large zipper so you can open it very nicely. The device comes out easily. Here you have stored your, your strap, your neck strap. The neck strap also has a very well functioning length adjuster, so you can use it at a full length or shorter. The length of the strap is 70 centimeters, so you can basically carry the meter around your neck and take a measurement with extended hand. And the device itself, you can see these are now the final structures on the plastic parts, on the aluminum housing. I hope that this looks sharp because I'm recording with iPhone. And here is the structure of the plastic parts. It's really, really nice. Um, this is the unit, by the way, that dropped 30 times. You basically cannot see any issues with it. I have some tools here also to show you some of the strengths. I have like um, this thing. I want to show you how good the display is. If I wipe the display properly now, you will not see any scratches. That's how good it is. Um, you open the battery compartment, you have the batteries inside. It's very simple to get them out. And then you have the sticker and here on the sticker, the serial number of your device will be printed. And it's also very easy to see the symbols, how to turn on, how to turn your batteries correctly. I can show you how the device looks on the inside now, on the final, final production device. It's assembled in a very simple way, but so that it's extremely tough and robust. So we can dismount the back housing. The back housing itself is extremely tough and thick plastic. It has battery pins pre-inserted like this. So it's easy to remove and reattach. And then inside we have the electronics. You can see the electronic is coated with this polymer varnish. So basically if you drop water on here or on here where the key logic is and metering functions, um, it's not going to fail. So, the display can be opened or dismounted very easily too. So even if you would need a service on your light meter, it's very easy to do it. And then the whole electronics comes out 
like this. Here you can see both sensors, photodiode and multispectral sensor. Actually this electronics doesn't have, is missing one small detail and I will show you the final electronics has this glass filter attached over the spectral sensor. This filter filters out UV and infrared light and now only lets through the visible light. As you can see this electronics here is not coated. We just use a bunch of different pre-production electronics for different testing purposes. And inside the housing this is not the final display because on the final display we added a special aluminum cage from the inside so there is no spillover of the light inside the device. But you can see here we have this special foam custom made that basically makes sure that all of the button clicks and presses are smooth and even and also provides additional seal against the water and dust. And the buttons are just inserted like this and we have kind of similar um, foam here. And this is the, the measure button. So the whole housing is extremely robust structural element. It's, it wouldn't be possible to make so strong and tough device if this housing would be plastic. Yeah, I can take this out. And the diffusers themselves, I'm not sure if it's possible to see, it's very hard to see, but they have like a mate structure. And if you, if you scratch them, you will not, you will not impact the measurements. Uh, this is a very sharp type of tool and um, even though there could be scratches on it, uh, they will not impact the measurements and it's impossible to, to pull them out once they are inserted. And as I said, the housing or the, the display is extremely tough. We tried all sorts of wrong things with it. So that's it. Thank you again for your patience, for your support. Um, we are really, really looking forward to bring this baby to you. It's a lot of pieces, everything is coming together. Uh, and thank you once again for your support and patience.